Okay, we've got a 98 Jeep TJ that's got a uh, little problem with the transmission. It hits 2500 in first gear and then it hangs there trying to shift. And then it'll shift into third gear eventually. Let's go. Let's give it a try. It slip right there. to the transmission and we'll drive around and do it again. Are you still recording? Yeah. Okay, we just pulled over. We're going to add the quantum coat to the transmission which is that's the engine oil. Here's the trans right here. Want to hold that up for me so I can get this? I've got a, a one ounce bottle. I'm only going to be adding half of it. Or so. And after we do the mileage, we'll, add, we'll treat the engine differentials and transfer case work it in and then do a after increase in mileage test okay let's that's it the screen's off but it's still recording okay no, it's not a bad jeep it's got a got a cb it's got extra tires 1998 not bad for uh, 3100 bucks. a little bit of paint, and this thing will look like new. Okay, now we're back in the car. Uh, we're just going to, let's show you that the, the mileage hasn't changed. Uh, we're going to drive around and uh, back and forth, and let's see how long it takes for the trans to behave itself. Just going to record the whole time? I might as well just keep recording. We got a full battery too. And I'd say when you get out there, hop on it to really Well, I should go through one, two, and three first, no? Okay. So to work it in. Alright, that's good. And actually pull over and park. Park right there. And then stop the car. Stop. Put it in park. And then in the reverse neutral drive two one and then all the way back up let it hesitate for a couple seconds all the way to park yeah put it in put it two oh, okay. just to work the servos okay neutral reverse that's hit that's hitting good and then park Okay, now put it into drive and hit the gas. Let's see what happens. It takes a little while to work. Oh man, look at that. It takes a while to work it in. Nice little pond back here. Stop over stop here and then I want to I want to see you hit the gas and what the hell happened what to unlock oh yeah you're good all right go I need to be going straight though that was a kind of turn <clears throat> okay well we'll just do it straight again just want to take off down 53. 
Well, let's just work it in a bit, going slow. I mean, and stop it, and then uh, floor it, and see what happens. Shifted into second, now we're into third. Now stop, oh, and then go slowly. There's a car behind us. Okay. This engine's gonna hum once we treat it with the diamond loop. It's the inline four. Just driving around in an office park so that we don't have too much traffic to deal with. Okay. And it just shifted in the second. Now it's in third. Here, let me stop. back on the road so we can go in a straight line at least. Yeah. There's a good mount break there. And usually most transmissions take about five minutes to stop slipping because the servos need to have the um, you know the diamond lube circulate throughout the whole system to make everything real slippery. I got it in first. Okay. Second. Okay. Third. Third drive. Okay. Then when you get up here and turn around. Oh, you actually go down. Go down 53. And let's see how it handles just in a straight line. Without, and just do it, let it stay in drive. Here. This is a straight line here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, what are they doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so stop. Okay, go. Or shifting faster. Okay, it's only been a few minutes. We should take it on uh, 53 to go faster to go all the way down. It's not sound 
sounding as growly as it was before. Because I asked the guy's father, I says, why is it so noisy? Oh, because it doesn't have any uh, any uh, noise proofing under there. It's all open. No, it was because the damn trance was noisy. so this other guy can pull up too. After this guy floor it. Reservoir back here on one side, high power lines on the other, a dog park coming up on the right, good fishing spot over here. Let everybody's dogs get to run around over here. You don't ever think to take the Jeep over there. We can take this thing anywhere now. I'd rather take or you this one. Turn um, at the, probably the post bike. office. Yeah. yeah, see, it shifted down into second with no problem. It's probably third. What's or that? Maybe that was second. Yeah, that might have been. I don't know. I'm still getting used to this transmission. Well, when it revved up to 3,000, it was in second. Um, 10 minutes. Okay. I mean, you can speed through it, right? Yeah, I could for, fast forward. For different, different parts. Around. Get the mileage there. Yep. I mean, we haven't gone that, well, a couple miles maybe. Yeah. And already it's behaving better and it sounds quiet. It is downshifting where it wasn't doing that before. It was kind of like stuck and it wouldn't, you know, second was like not around. Was that US no what? US property, no trespassing. Mm -hmm. well, it's like up, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll leave. Didn't know this was Fort Knox. Yeah, that was fun going into Fort Knox. Surprised they didn't pull their guns out on us. Well, I mean, they kind of did almost. Well, they were in our face, that's for sure. We did talk about that in a separate video, didn't we? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know if I brought that up in an old vlog or not. Lag back from the 
this guy if you can so you can so you can punch it and see what happens. Regular. Regular. gas and then we'll uh, see what the mileage is out for now we lost a lot of it to blowing out um, we can add a little bit more later 
But just so we get this into the fuel, it's got a pressurized or like a you gotta open it up. Let me find some. So if you've never driven a Jeep before, there's some kind of safety cap in there. There we go. There we go. Now it's in. It's like a plug. here. 